Hi, I'm Vinay Opal and I'm back. So I'm actually a little disappointed to see, uh, I think, barely 7,000 views in, what, uh, eight, nine days since I uploaded my last video where I announced the Game Changer course. I was waiting for the video to reach 10,000 views before making this one and uploading this one. But, uh, I mean, it's something that I put a lot of effort in. So I was wondering how, how do these other channels in YouTube get these lakhs of views and lakhs of subscribers? Is it my content? Is there something lacking in my content? Uh, it's not about content. It's these those those videos get uh, those kind of views because of because of drama. That's how YouTube works. You want drama? Here it is. Look man, I've tried to stay humble, but these other guys on YouTube are not on my level, man. I'm the king here. Physics is my life. I live physics. I breathe physics. YouTube is my home. I'm coming to save all of you. I'm coming for everybody and I'm coming to change your life. I can assure you, you've never ever seen or heard anything like the Game Changer course. I'm going to teach you time-saving methods that no one ever has. You know these questions that you solve that normally require like three, four, even five simultaneous equations and you end up doing it for seven, eight, ten minutes uh, using the standard method that everybody teaches. I'll show you how to do it in less than 60 seconds in a single equation. I'll show you how to save three, four minutes every question. Imagine you do that for five questions in your J, you'll be saving up to 20 minutes in which you can solve four more questions. Four questions can shift your rank by thousands. It can change your career and change your life. Sir, this is all okay, but when are you going to release the course? Tell me this. Oh, man, I'm going to release the course. Patience. I'm just in the final stages of proofreading every single video. Hopefully, my tentative date is Maybe 18th or 19th Feb. This is the date that I'm targeting. Hopefully earlier than that, but probably within a week. I'm just doing the final proofreading. I want to make sure every word that I've said in each video is uh, on point. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste a single minute of yours if you're watching my video. When it comes to J, time is the most precious resource you have. So it's all about optimizing your time. So this is the tentative date that you can, you guys can uh, keep in mind. So before we take a look at exactly what it is that I'm going to be teaching in this course, a couple of things that I want to mention. So mostly this entire course is mechanics based. I've solved over a hundred questions fully using my short methods in this course. Uh, and actually I stopped counting after hundred. So there are definitely more than hundred problems here. And a few of them are applications of these methods in other chapters outside mechanics, but um, very few, like three or four maybe. So primarily I designed this course with 2022 aspirants in mind, but it's February now. And I think even 2023 aspirants would have covered most of mechanics chapters. So uh, I think even 2023 students can take full advantage of this course. Uh, also, the way to study this course is, um, during my lectures, I'll show you the short method, then I'll ask you to solve a question uh, as an application based on it. So you should pause the video, attempt the question using the concept that I teach, and then only go on to look at my solution and see if you get it correct. So effectively, you will also end up solving all of these 100 plus problems over the duration of the course and achieving complete mastery and confidence to use these methods when the time comes in your J exam. So initially my plan was to make small videos on these short methods and then give you study material uh, like PDFs of assignments for practice. Uh, but then I decided that every problem that I wanted to give you and I wanted to put in the assignments, I decided to solve all of them in the video lectures itself. Okay, so now let's take a look at each chapter that I'm going to cover. So first off, I start off with laws of motion. In this chapter, I'll start off with a beautiful trick to solve pulley problems in one equation without any need for simultaneous equations. And then I'll progress on to more complex questions, uh, combining different short method techniques that I'll teach in uh, questions involving wedges, pulleys, uh, combinations, uh, just to give you uh, an idea. 
uh, once you're done with all the lectures in this chapter you'll be able to solve these kind of problems in the fastest possible manner usually these uh, questions uh, require three four or sometimes even five simultaneous equations but uh, once uh, once you're done with the chapter you'll be able to do it in one or at max two equations and saving a lot of time in the exam that is uh, the ultimate goal of this game changer course so these are just three examples amongst many many others uh, uh, you'll also learn how to apply the short method to do chain problems and even problems involving friction and a lot more So I have named this chapter as friction, although I've included questions with friction in the previous chapter as well. In this chapter specifically, over six lectures, I'll cover two block systems and three block systems in absolutely full detail, covering every single possible case, including questions where the force is acting at an angle in these uh, kind of two block systems or three block systems, something that I don't see uh, being taught usually to students. And even uh, these type of complex uh, looking problems where you have three blocks and then connect it to a pulley. I'll, I'll show you the fastest and the best method to do these type of problems. And uh, by the end of this chapter, you will be super confident and comfortable doing two block and three block problems. Uh, now this chapter, circular motion and work energy has two lectures and I'll start off with an awesome shortcut for vertical circular motion uh, questions like this one on the left where uh, you have a block performing circular motion and loses contact, performs projectile and then I mix in collisions as well. So these kind of questions are uh, the ones that take a lot of time when you do it the standard way. Um, in fact, I have uploaded this shortcut uh, trick on one of my rare series episodes on YouTube channel. You can check it out. But here in this uh, lecture, I go in a little more depth and a couple of more questions on it. And uh, I'll also be discussing the fastest way to do these kind of uh, problems. So this is a very standard problem where you have, um, uh, when you need to calculate tension in a rotating ring, it is actually a very common uh, problem that appears in circular motion, uh, even in properties of matter and even waves. So instead of doing the usual elemental analysis that uh, that is the usual technique and it gets a little tedious, I'll show you a faster and better way. And uh, in addition to that, I will also uh, show you an application in other chapters like magnetism uh, using this method. Next up is center of mass and collisions, uh, six lectures here and I start off with center of mass frame and reduced mass. I go in full detail and by the end you will be very confident of this concept. Uh, then I'll go on to show you how to use these concepts uh, of center of mass frame and reduced mass to solve such kind of problems uh, in the fastest possible manner. Um, you have this kind of a problem where you have a block traveling on a wedge. So these are standard problems which usually is done using momentum conservation, energy conservation. I'll show you this kind of problem and a lot more. I'll show you how to do it um, in the fastest possible manner. And then you also have these kind of questions where uh, string impulse and collisions are combined. Once again, I find people do it using three, simul three or even four simultaneous equations. But uh, you'll uh, learn how to do it in one equation or sometimes even orally. Uh, then there's this particular type of question where you have uh, two string impulses. I've seen people solving it using five or even six simultaneous equations. That's crazy. How do you expect a student to solve six simultaneous equations in J under pressure? That is, that's just ridiculous. Uh, I'll show you how to do it as, as such questions in less than half that time. Uh, same thing for the wedge collisions. And there's a lot more in this chapter as well, including a short method for variable mass systems uh, and a lot more. Uh, I'll be unable to cover every small detail in this video. Now, this is the masterpiece of this course. I have come up with an incredible one-step trick to solve complex rotation questions in a single equation. Uh, it is the single greatest trick of all time. Uh, I'm not even going to show any examples. I don't want to give any spoilers because I plan to release the first lecture of this chapter on YouTube for free for everyone to watch and decide for themselves whether I'm just being dramatic or whether the hype is real. Uh, let me tell you, this chapter with six lectures is going to be worth the price of the entire course itself. This is the game changer right here. Uh, anyway, you don't have to just blindly trust me. Uh, I'll upload a free lecture on YouTube and you can see for yourself.
SHM once again like rotation it's going to blow your mind away in this first lecture of uh, SHM you learn how to do complex angular SHM problems in one step using the trick that you learn in the previous chapter once again no spoilers from me just get ready to get your mind blown in the second lecture of uh, SHM I'll show you a beautiful shortcut for questions involving pulleys and springs in fact I have made a short video on the on my rare series on my YouTube channel you can check it out but here I go in a lot more depth and um, you learn how to solve such type of questions in one step where you're asked to find time period of these complicated uh, looking uh, systems so like here you have a rod connected to springs which is also rotating then you have a block connected to multiple springs and then you have springs at an angle all of these one single step and finally in the third lecture of SHM you learn the fastest way to solve questions where approximation is involved including applications and other chapters like uh, electrostatics just to give you an example and uh, finally coming to fluid mechanics this is a short chapter with two lectures and you learn the quickest way to solve such type of problems mm, usually uh, if you look at the uh, first problem here usually students waste a lot of time doing integration when you're asked to find the time for the water to flow out for the liquid to flow out uh, or time for the liquid height level to go from some particular height h1 to some other height such type of problems uh, usually is done by integration but I'll show you a very fast way in such questions and even these kind of rotation uh, rotating fluid uh, problems where water is overflowing or where the base of the vessel gets exposed these type of problems uh, I see students spend unnecessary time solving simultaneous equations but you'll learn in this uh, lecture how to do these in a better faster manner uh, what about the pricing that is also another question that I'm sure is in your mind how much I'm going to price it at so to be honest, I haven't really decided yet, but I'm going to make it as nominal, as minimal as possible so that it's affordable to everybody. At the same time, I also have to keep in mind that I've put in a lot of effort to make this course. I have sacrificed my sleep. I have sacrificed my time with my family. So I'll have to strike that balance about what I think I deserve for putting in all this hard work. At the same time, I want to make it affordable to everybody. You guys don't need to worry about that. I'll figure it out on my end. So hopefully my website will also go live on the day that I'm launching the course. So hopefully it's 19th or 18th February, maybe within a week. So that's it for today. See you at the top.